All right, guys. So um, what we're essentially going to be doing right now is we're going to be starting project two. Um, your project two is going to be you guys designing and modeling in AutoCAD a two-dimensional house. Um, as part of that, um, your milestone this week will be you guys finishing your floor plan. Um, and from there, you will take it on to create elevations, section cuts, construction documents, and everything else. So um, your milestone is baked into this project as a progress point for you finishing it. Um, so feel free to turn it in when you get to that point. Obviously, you want to be done with that by Friday. Um, so I'm just going to get into it, and I'm going to start building. I don't really have a floor plan in mind, um, but I at least kind of want to get started off um, a little bit so that you guys can follow along. And then I'll switch to that mode where I just run this at like 10x speed. Um, in case you want to watch. So, um, let me check here. I think I've got everything. All right, so I don't really have a floor plan in mind yet, um, but first step is always going to be type in unit, and we're going to make sure we switch to architectural. And then, why didn't I steal a floor plan? Give me a second. Okay, I found a floor plan I'm going to work with. I don't feel like coming up with my own um, at this point this evening. So, um, let's see, let's start out um, with a line. Oh, wow, I'm super far out. Let's go a little bit closer here. I just like working near the origin, but 128 feet up that way is pretty much. All right, so um, just a couple things to point out while we're working. Um, I'm going to start, like I showed you guys in the last demo, I'm going to start on the inside. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to offset all my exteriors. Again, we should be using um, uh, six foot exterior walls and six inch interior walls um, for this class. I will explain that a little bit. Um, it, it'll make more sense in the next class, honestly. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it here without going off into a completely different tutorial. Um, but you see right there, I just did a four, four inch. Um, gap for that walls and then that was five inches not five feet so offset five foot um, and then I'm just gonna again offset this four inches um, and then let's see something that's also um, I think I pointed it out in the demo last week um, was just working on the uh, width of things. So here with the bathroom, a five by five is a really easy thing to space out. And then I'll just do that another four inches. Again, um, when I come back to place the door here, I'll also need this, so I'll offset this wall four inches in as well. Um, now this is gonna start looking super chaotic here in a minute. And it's something where Doing it this way kind of works for my brain. I can't guarantee that it will work for everyone else's brains. So, um, you know, just be careful when you're doing this because um, it kind of gets really complicated really fast. Um, when you get a bit more used to seeing it look like this, you can kind of understand what's going on. So. Um, I'm just setting up like this right here. We'll do a two foot four inch door. Um, actually, I should make this wider. I'm going to make this bathroom. I did five feet. Let's give it another two feet. And then I'll just extend these lines. And this will actually, no, that needs to go all the way up. Oops. Oh, okay. I was like, what is that line? It was the cursor. Two foot four. Okay. Um, something that I want to point out for closets, and I w haven't really talked about closets yet, um, is they're kind of one of the trickier things that I end up dinging you guys with um, points a lot. So I'm going to close the other side of this. And so right here, I'm going to put two, two closets, right? Um, so one of these closets is going to open into here, and then the other one's going to be a hallway closet over here. And so I have a couple requirements for closets. First of all, um, they need to be four inches 
um, or use four inch walls. So I'll do an offset for, and then they need to have two feet interior space. So that's one foot eight right there. So I either need to move this wall in or move this out. I'm actually going to move this. No, I'll move it into the room. Uh, so offset this four inches and I'll do it twice there. So then I should be able to take this and measure two feet right there. So now you can see that the front to back spacing of this closet from here to here is going to be two feet. Now I put this line here in the middle and we want this to be, you know, centered. So instead of offsetting this four, I'm going to offset it two inches. So I'm going to go two inches up, two inches down, and then I'll just delete that so I don't have to worry about it. Um, next, I'm going to put these lines right here, and then I'm just going to offset these again another four inches that way and that way. And then I'm going to offset that in and that in. And you can see how this is starting to become a whole bunch of like crazy lines and stuff. So at this point, I'm going to trim just to kind of clean this up a little bit before I move forward. So this right here, we'll clean up these bathroom lines. Um, let's see if this can go. Um, this was going to open to the hallway. I need one more offset here. And I need another offset. No, we're good. Okay. Um, this one I can just flip over here. Um, actually, let me see here. Let me clean this up first. So this one actually I think I can... I don't need this line. We already have our wall thickness right here. That's why it's nice to clean it up every once in a while. So um, when I run this trim, take that out, take that out, take that out, and that, and then we'll just keep zapping our way around here. Um, and what I'm looking for is this little space right here. So you can, you guys should be able to see it now. Um, even I can highlight up here too. Let me just clean this up. So get that and that. So on these, you can see that you would have the space for the closet door right here. And then there's this little offset, this little square nub, four by four inches, four by four inches. You should have each, one of these on each of your closets. All right. Um, typically, it can you can also have it go a little bit deeper, um, you know, just because like that's a four foot eight opening, but maybe they only sell four foot opening doors. That's probably not true. I'm sure they sell 4A. But let's say that you could only get a 4 foot. Oops. Um, so it's not unusual for, um, you know, some kind of compromise to be made here where um, maybe you've got a door that will only fit like that. So then you might just have this brought down another 4 inches on each side. That's fairly common, especially in kind of like our little college town rental world. Um, where you guys probably just live in a house made entirely of code violations and don't even know it. Um, so, won't, be, won't, won't go into that anymore. Um, but that's... I've had students, um, you know, in the past I had students draw a project, do a project of, oh, just model your apartment or whatever. And then very quickly I'm like, oh, this place is illegal. You should not be living here. So, won't get into it. Um... So let's cover a couple other things I want to touch on before I um, stop recording here or switch to the other thing. Um, so hallways, anytime you have a hallway inside of a residential space, the minimum size I typically want to see is about three feet, right? Three feet is enough for you to get through that hallway without kind of bumping into someone else. Um, more ideally, especially if it's a main entrance, because um, I'm kind of doing this after the floor plan I did the other day. Um, but uh, let me close this off, so we'll offset this. Oh, let's do six feet. And then we'll just flip it the other direction here. Um, so if this was to be a hallway, 
you can see how this this one right here if this was it with this three foot spacing that's kind of cramped whereas if you get to that right there that's a little bit nicer of a space um we're, we're gonna put a little something right here too but um yeah this is just a nicer slightly wider space especially if it's a main entrance into the house you put a three foot wide door here and you've got space on each side um, for the framing so that's kind of more typical for a main entrance and then if you have like a secondary hallway somewhere else um, that's where you'd likely end up seeing a uh, a three foot hallway but those are kind of more of the exception off the rule um, I can't think of anything else I really want to highlight right now um, so I'm gonna switch this over and um, I'll see you guys when the speedy part ends Yeah, we need another window in here for this bathroom. Um, again, this is, I'm just going to make this one a two foot wide, so offset a foot to each direction. Kill the middle and trim away the remainder. Okay, um, oh, we got this section still. So we have window, slider, window, window. Okay. Um, I'm happy with that. So again, um, we'll just continue progressing through the tool. Oh, actually, let's fix the blowouts that we had real quick. So wall, wall, that, and that. Okay. So that gets us to this point. Um, oh, we got one more right here as well. So now we can come back with the hatch tool switch to a solid pick point and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do all of mine all at once here except for these so I'll do these separately oh, and of course that's part of it um, but ideally y'all should be doing pretty much everything in yours all at once actually you know what I'll just I'll do it and we'll just come back and fix it later There's my hatch with the floor plan. Um, so let's go ahead and build some windows. So um, actually let's create some new layers while we're here. So um, for this, again, I wanna keep it simple. I don't wanna burden you guys super heavy with this. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just create a couple, uh, three layers here. So we're gonna do walls. Uh, we're gonna do doors and we're gonna do windows. And for now, I'm going to leave walls white. I'm going to make it doors. Uh, I'm going to go with that reddish color right there. And windows will be that bluish color right there. Okay. So then, um, let's see. I haven't assigned... This should all still be on layer zero. Like I said, I typically uh, don't do anything until with with that until uh 
until I'm basically done with with the thing. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be working on layer zero still. I'm not going to change off of this layer. Um, we're going to have to remember that this is a six inch wall. So my typical thing is I usually leave a bit of a bigger space on the inside. So now you can see right here, I have the window itself is biased towards the outside. Um, if you go check out a window in your house, it's typically going to be like this, maybe not that thick or maybe thicker. Um, and then I'm going to do another one inside from there. And then I'll do an oops right there. Okay. And then we'll just move these a half inch. Um, and you can type 0.5 uh, if you don't want to do the half. And then I'll grab this line here. We'll offset this two inches and two inches. And then let's clean this up so we can get rid of all that. This line, this line, and those guys right there. So um, what this is left us with, again, I was talking with you guys last week about, um, oh, did I, yeah. So this whole section right here is going to be our window, right? So um, I'm going to reuse it here. And I think there was one or two other spots. No, because these were five foot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a block. So I'm just going to call this window exterior five foot slider. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it today. Um, so I had it selected. We can already see nine objects selected. We need to pick our uh, base point. I'm going to choose this corner right here. Um, we're not going to make it annotative, so we're just going to go with this. We have a block now. There's the block. So now if I go to insert, we got this. And I'm just going to assign it. Oh, that was smart. Look at that. AutoCAD figuring shit out. OK, um, so that's one window down. Um, what we can do to speed up this process is I can explode this. So I know that this is a five foot wide window right there. I have a four foot gap. So what I need to do is I need to shrink this by six inches um, in the relevant dimension. Actually, no, one foot here. So this needs to come down one foot. Um, I'll offset this back two inches so I know where to stop it. And then the middle part here needs to move down six inches. And then uh, I should be able to clean this all up here. And um, let's see. If I did this right, let me double check here. That looks to be the middle right there, four feet tall. So then now I can convert this to a block as well. Um, so we'll call this window, exterior, slider. Uh, what did I call the other one? I already forgot the naming schema. Five foot slider, four foot slider. Four foot slider. Um, we'll specify the point. Again, I'm going with that point right there on the corner so I can just quickly assign it to a spot. Everything's selected, so I'll hit OK. And now I can just grab this and put it in place. Um, we'll do a CO for copy. And let's see if it'll figure this one out. Nope. So I'll just do an RO for rotate. Click here and rotate that into the correct position. Um, let's see. These guys, I think, were four feet. So I'll again, grab this slider. Um, that's not perfect, but we can fix that four foot slider. This one goes in as shown. Um, so we can, um, we could flip this or we could just mirror it and I can reference this midpoint right here and just flip it like that. Yes. To erase the source object. Um, and we're, oh, you know what? I didn't get those lines right there. Let's edit this real quick before I go any further. 
just trim out those two lines right there and we're good to go. Close block editor, save the changes. Should have updated all those blocks now. Okay. That was a door. We have a couple of these, but this was a three foot window. So again, same process. I'm just gonna take this, explode it. Um, we're going down a foot. So again, this is gonna come in one foot. Offset back two inches. Middle is going to move over half the distance, so six inches. And then we will just adjust these back into there. We'll do a trim. Nope, that's not trim. Kill that whole section, zap those, and create a new block. Window, exterior, three foot slider. Oops. No, undo that. Because we didn't pick our point. Lock, window, exterior, three foot slider. Pick point. All good, go here. And then let's just place it right there. CO to copy, reference the same point on each side. Okay, um, looks like the last window we have are going to be these little one foot guys uh, that I put in the uh, bathroom. So I'll just copy another one and then if you're following along and guessed it, we're going to explode it. Um, we're going to move this over two feet this time because we're going from three foot to one foot. Oh, and then this is going to be super far. Okay, so one foot for that. And then... Um, let's see. Something looks off. Did I go too far? Guess we'll find out. Because it's either going to fit or it's not. Um, let's check our width right here. One foot. Did I see an extra line in there? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, but it's with... That's a two foot. That's a... Two... Yeah. That's what it was. I was wrong about the number. Okay. So, move it one foot. Move it six inches. Close it up. Offset two inches, trim it, okay, block, window, exterior, two foot slider, pick point, oh, I got the mosquitoes that's been flying around in here for the last 10 minutes, okay, and then that's not a window spot. This is. Oh, come on. There we go. Rotate. Um, CO. Let's just replace from insert. And if I was super OCD and pretty hard, I'd probably make sure these were all lined up the same direction, but I'm not right now. So we'll just do that. Okay. So that gets that. Um, so we need to talk about doors next. Again, we've gone over doors, um, two foot four door, two foot four line, interior doors, one inch thick. Use the arc tool, start center, or no. Again, I always get it wrong. Start center angle. Start, center, hold down control to reverse direction, no. Oh. No, it's not that one, but I was able to make it work. Um, so then we'll just take this right here, make sure you get the end part right there. 
I've got all the bits there. We'll convert this to a block. Um, this is going to be door interior two foot four. I hope that's what I did. Uh, single. And then again, I'm going to reference, I always like to reference the point where the hinges would be on that door. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, let's go ahead and grab this door again. Um, oh, look at you, AutoCAD. You are so smart these days. Um, why wouldn't it want me space? Space? No, space. Enter. This is a wider door, so I cannot put that one there. And that's a wider... What? Really? What did I do here? Two foot six? Of course I did. Okay. Well, we got to draw it sometime. So, uh, two foot six, one foot wide. I just like doing that reference right there to do that. Let's see if I can get the right arc tool this time. Start, center, end. Start, center, end. See, I like that one a little bit better. Um, block. Um, door interior. Forgot what it was. Two foot six. Two foot six. Single. Nope. Uh, I forgot to assign the point. Block. Door interior. Two foot six. Single. Pick point corner okay what oh no what did I do uh, what is this two foot six two foot four oh okay I I didn't undo it I exploded it so I need to redraw it. okay this is door interior Two foot six, single. And I do want to overwrite this, redefine so that it is the correct door. Now let's see if we're lucky and it fits here. Rotate, and of course, this one is two eight because why would I do anything consistently? <sighs> okay. Well, let's at least close up this other two foot six door. See, that's so smart. Look at that. So proud of you, AutoCAD. Okay, um, this one is going to be an interior swing. Um, again, when you're placing doors, you should always make sure that they swing in a manner that allows them to be fully opened and not block another door. So. I don't want this door to swing in front of this door so that someone doesn't get hit if it's opening. Um, start, center. This one is a reverse direction, so I'm going to hold down control to get it to go the correct angle right there. Um, lock, door, interior. Two foot eight. Sure hope so. Um, no, it was two foot ten. But no? Okay. Um, where are we missing doors still? Oh, we have the slider right there, and we have our front door. We have this little pocket. Oh, pocket doors are fun, actually. So these, these are, um, you're going to run into these from time to time. I guarantee it. So um, let's go over how to do one of these real quick. So I have two foot eight as our full width right here. Um, half of that. So to get the uh, middle of that, it's going to be one foot four, and then it's going to be what eight inches yeah eight inches is going to be our um our actual panels right so i'm gonna move this up here um i'm gonna choose um let's see i'm gonna do eight inches and then if we're lucky autocad's gonna give us a reference here but no uh, excuse me so I'm going to offset this one inch right there. And then, so this would be a good time actually to just actually type this out. So I want to go approximately, what, 60 degrees? Yeah, so we'll do 
8 inch angle 60 and then we'll offset this one and then okay so fun trick for this he taught you guys mirror and there's not a lot of uses for mirror but this is a great place to use the mirror tool so we've got this part of the little panel slider foldy door thing so if we mirror this right here just go straight up don't erase the source object you get one half right there and then because of the way that we've spaced all this out right here I can mirror this whole thing from the bottom here and you end up with the perfect little sliding door thingy right here um, so I'm gonna make this a block door interior oh I forgot what it was one foot four no two foot eight that's right so block um, this is gonna be door interior two foot eight foldy door okay I, it escapes me what they're called and I'm not gonna look it up okay so then um, what else do we have again I'm not gonna deal with that tonight we have our two closets right here now nice thing is we should have made them the same width when we put all that together just double check for eight so closet doors how do they do um, kind of like windows so I'm gonna offset this one inch M for multiple and I'm gonna give myself um, a couple clicks there and then just like the exterior windows oops I need one more offset that, oh yeah one more offset and then one more line um, same idea as with the windows I'm gonna move it half an inch one way half an inch the other we'll get rid of this exterior line right here it's, sorry it's kind of hard to show because it is just such a wide opening and then um, just like with the windows we'll trim the excess off so it's basically this is this but without all the extra stuff around it um, some people like to get fancy and offset them a little bit more and then like um, like bring it down like three inches or something close this up and then you can show that yes this is a dual panel and it's like not fixed to that side um, don't particularly care myself as long as I understand what this is visually by looking at it I am fine with it okay so um, we have that again lock this is going to be door interior four foot eight why did I remember that one so well um, double slider no, this is a double okay pick point um, again I'm going to go with the exterior corner over here should be good to go and then let's see if it's being cool and flips it for us again no nope. I don't think we're gonna get lucky here no nope. I'll just place it there and then we'll just RO rotate and right there right in the position okay uh, we have the slider door exterior slider so um, and then we have the front door let's do the front door real quick um, this is four foot wide so let's get fancy a little bit here um, let's see we're gonna have a three foot door it leaves us a eight inch window um, so this is just something I'm kind of setting up you guys are gonna have you don't have to do this, this is gonna be kind of like me just going off um, but I'm gonna have a single fixed pane right here so to show that um, obviously you've got the framing around the window and technically it should be a little thinner but whatever um, I'm just gonna offset that right there so when I run my trim we just have those lines right there in the middle um, I probably didn't make this wide enough no it's three foot four why was I doing that oh yeah I wanted a, uh, a little gap right there so we'll do six down um, we'll throw a hatch in here solid pick points and then um, so then exterior doors solid core on um, this should be three feet let me double check actually did my math right yep three feet 
Solid core exterior doors, two inches thick. Come on, get that reference. Okay. We'll do the arc again. Start, center, control, and this whole thing right here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab that. This is going to be, oh, what was the total? 3 8. Yeah, now I have to do the selection again. Four foot. Okay. Um, block. Door, exterior, uh, four foot, custom, pick point, grab that, good to go. Um, all right, so then uh, slider doors right here, um, they're a little bit trickier. What I'm going to do is offset, and I just did that right there, offset an inch in, I'm going to go an inch out. Um, this is typically how I do some of my other uh, or this is kind of how I showed you guys how to do windows too. This is kind of a preferred style. Um, but same idea. I'm just, this is showing that there is a lip or a step down. That's what this little thing is. I'm going to offset this one inch multiple times. So we'll need to go one in for the first pane, second, and there we go. So now I have, again, I'm going to repeat this process of just putting two little line segments here. Um, this side right here on the inside for sure is the one I want to move over half an inch that way and this one's going to come over 0.5 that way and then when in doubt trim it out and um, just for my OCD reasons I'm going to get rid of that line right there and that line right there um, I can do the selection like this and just get those edges and then again we're back to blocking door exterior six foot I hope uh, slider pick point that corner and we're good to go so um well we got one more exterior door here too and um, this is going to open in and it is in a weird spot. Boy, I hope that's three foot. What was it? Three foot? Three foot, yeah. Three foot, two. And this is, I think, our last door. This is basically what the other one was, except that um, it doesn't have all that other fancy stuff. Throw this in a block door. Exterior, three foot, single point on the joint and okay so um not including this whatever is going to happen there um that gets all of those so then um let's move everything over to the appropriate layers so i'll just jam through real quick and select all my windows this is a door so we'll skip that one even if it is a sliding window that you can walk through it is a door because you walk through it. Well, I didn't do the garage, but we'll survive. Um, so throw those on the windows layer. Grab this. Um, I'm just doing these little tiny right to left selections. Um, it's just how my brain works. Not an insert. Switch those over to doors. So, okay, we have doors, we have windows, we have walls. Um, that should get us in a good position so I can show you guys um, your milestone. So ideally you guys have made it at least this far, I guess. What do we have? Milestone, floor plan elevation construction documents. Yeah, I mean, you need a floor plan to do this. So ideally this is a milestone you guys are done with by Wednesday so you can start working on the floor plan elevation and construction documents for Thursday. So, um, yeah, I'll give you guys the milestone on Tuesday, tomorrow, um, and let you guys get started on it. Um, I will see you guys in class.